Hey, what's up guys, Alex here, thank you for checking this video and no tutorial for you today, but an interesting news. Um, recently, I received a lot of requests from users that follow my tutorial and they asked if they can share their own code or if uh, they can show me how they're building their own awesome team or their own application. And this is kind of complicated because I'm just on social media, I'm not in a real like forum or community or uh, whatever. Um, and on social media, sharing your own code on the comment section is kind of clutter, it's kind of not really good like to, I don't know, manage something that complex as a source code and give users a proper feedback or a proper help for what they're building. So I started using an amazing platform that I already talked about during the one of my previous videos, and this platform is called Cdub. Cdub gives you the ability to connect your account to a specific application and launch that application and share in real time through a web-based IDE to a text editor on your browser with the creator of the app. So for example, if I share the source code of my WordPress 101 series of tutorial, you can clone that seed, you can clone that app and start coding your own awesome team or your own standalone application and you can have me as a creator and supporter of that app. That means you can share live through a web browser IDE to a web text editor base. Your source code, I can see live what's going on, what you're typing, and I can help you fix some specific part. I can give you some suggestion in real time or through a web chat connected to the IDE. This is really helpful. Um, I don't know if my explanation, like it's, complete and gives you a proper idea of how Cdub works, but if you have some doubt, just take a look. I wanna show you how easily is to set up everything and how we can properly talk together as a proper teacher-student relation. Let's take a look. And that's Cdub. You can access the platform going to cdub.io and it's really straightforward. You can check the futures, the pricing, if you decide to buy something, but it's completely free. You can sign up for free and use the application for free. So let's take a look on how it works. You logged in and you access your dashboard. Here on the right, you have all the apps that you launched, all the products that you created if you decide to create a product. But as a student, you can just access the apps area that it's full of all the apps available from CDOP. And there's the, of course, some specific apps are paid, some specific apps are free. If you search for WordPress 101 version one, you will find my application WP 101 with this sleek, nice icon that I created. You click on it and you will find the description, my nickname, of course, so you know that it's me, that's my app. And the first video just to give you a hint of what you have to expect. And of course, the app, as I said, is completely free, is shared, and if you create this app, you're gonna have a virtual machine with this 10 gigabyte of hard drive solid state drive memory where you can fill up with everything you need. That's great. You can duplicate the entire repository of WordPress 101 and if you left this support team checked, I will be added at a team support to your own app. So you code your app, I can see your code, you can send me messages and I can check what you're doing, giving you a hint adds up, giving you suggestion and fixing manually your own code live through the web browser ID. Of course, you select the free and the dynamic IP. And then we have, we know that we have $0 per month. It's going to be completely free. You decide your own subdomain. So you can create my WordPress team and you launch the application. You're gonna have a quick review of all the settings that you selected, you're gonna have your price that is zero dollar per month, <laughs> it's so sweet. And you can launch it now. Launching now is gonna take just, this is real time, so you will see how fast it is, and that's it, the launch is complete. You can go to your app dashboard 
and start coding. You have this little button here to launch the IDE. If I open this IDE on a separated window, I will see after it loads in just uh, 10 seconds, 20 seconds, what it's gonna take. That's it, it's ready. You will notice that this is pretty much a standard IDE. You can see this configuration from Coda, from uh, brackets, from also Dreamweaver can have this configuration. So it's a really familiar look. If you open here in your instance, my WordPress team that you created your a subdomain name, you're gonna see the WordPress 101 source code and inside you have all the lessons that I updated on GitHub. And because this folder is connected to the Git repository on GitHub, you can constantly download updates while I update my GitHub repo. So it's it can be constantly updated without any issue or any technical problem. But anyway, if you access, for example, we are in lesson number 10, we have our CSS, you access the awesome.css, you can code and edit the code to create your custom classes and write wherever you need. Also, because you left checked the support team option, you will now be able to enter the support team chat and I will be able to access your app, see your source code and help you fix it, help you build your own team. And it's gonna be great. You have this left panel where we can chat live. I already wrote a welcome message to the WordPress 101 uh, um, users. So you can check these and you can write me all the comments that you want. If I'm live, I can answer you right away. We can talk through this application and I can give you live support to build your awesome team. So as you can see, it's really easy to configure your own application, copy my source code and having me as a live support creator. And we can have live chat, we can share code, we can share comment and I can actually probably help you. So I won't be at the point that I'm at right now. When you ask me some help on Google Plus or Facebook, I like most of the time answer to you where you should show me your code. I don't know how can I help you. I can give you some suggestion, but without seeing your source code, it's really hard for me to help you. So let's totally check it up. And did I already say that it's completely free? You can sign up for free clone my app for free and use the IDE installation completely for free with my source code already inside that. And you can update that source code based on the GitHub repository that I update every week. So it's really handy and it's really easy to use. So I suggest you to check it out. So please sign up, launch the WordPress 101 application and let's connect properly in that amazing platform. I hope to see you guys later and talk soon for a new tutorial. See ya.